96% of developers and security professionals out there are using AI coding tools today, like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot. But they're forgetting one thing. Is that code safe and secure to use in their project? You see, it's great and all to be saving time on mundane coding tests by using these tools, but it stings when you find out that your code is riddled with vulnerabilities because of it. Today, we'll explore four hidden risks of AI-generated code and how you can protect your projects from these pitfalls. First up is a lack of explainability and transparency in AI-generated code. Explainability means understanding how AI models arrive at their outputs, while transparency involves providing clear insights into AI processes. Without these two, developers may struggle to identify and fix issues. It can also lead to higher costs and reduced efficiencies throughout your projects. And not just that, but you could run into regulatory compliance issues, especially if you're working within a highly regulated industry like healthcare or government. So what should you do to mitigate this risk? Well, you can review AI-generated outputs for inconsistencies, illogical patterns, or responses that don't align with best coding practices. You can leverage trusted documentation or authoritative sources to verify the accuracy and logic of the code that was outputted. These sources could be official documentation of your programming languages, frameworks, or libraries, just for example. Lastly, be sure to document any significant AI-generated code or decisions so that it can be used for reference in the future or if any questions arise later on. All right, the second risk to using AI for coding is security vulnerabilities. AI-generated code can introduce flaws like injection attacks, weak authentication, and misconfigured permissions. Such vulnerabilities can be exploited by attackers to gain unauthorized access and or manipulate your data. So regularly audit your AI-generated code and use security tools like Sneak to detect and fix vulnerabilities. Let me show you an example of that happening. Okay, so this example project is about conference bookings and like what speakers are going to be at the conference and that type of thing. And it has an API for it. And we are using AI to build the project. In particular, we have an API that wants to search for talks. And in it, it needs to use this search talk function with, or method within this other class that we have here. So let's step into that. And you can see I've not implemented that just yet. It just returns null. So let's use GitHub Copilot to help us finish writing the code for this, okay? So first thing I wanna do is I want it to lowercase the input that's received as part of this parameter. I do that in a comment and it generates that code. I didn't type that, I hit tab and that brings it right in for me and that's my new code that I've added there. Now from here, I want it to create the query for me and you can see it's already kind of predicting what I wanna do, but I have specifics that I want it to do here. So I'm gonna say, hey, create a native query to search for talks and I want it joined with the person table with the input in the description, title, or speaker user name. I hit enter and let's see what it outputs. Okay, so here's the query it's outputting. I'm gonna hit tab and let that go as is. Then from there, I want it to execute the query. So let's do that, tell it to write the code for that for us. And then we need to just return the result then from there. Boom, awesome. Now. At first glance, you might think this is great. It's doing what it's expected to do. But if you have a keen eye and a security background, you'll notice that it created this query with a SQL injection vulnerability in it. And the way we can detect that with Sneak is by having the extension in the IDE here. In this case, I'm using Visual Studio Code and that will alert me to it. So let me set that up and turn Sneak on now since I had it off for this demo. So in VS Code or any other IDE you might be using for your projects, you can search for the Sneak extension or plugin. In this case, I searched for Sneak in the VS Code marketplace, and now I just need to enable it. All right, so now it's back enabled. I already have it installed. I've already signed into it. You can look at other videos that we have that demonstrate how to go through that flow if you need help with that. But you sign into your Sneak account and come back to your editor of choice or IDE, in this case, VS Code. So now I should have the Sneak extension view, which you can see here and I'll tell it to scan my code for me. And you can see it found three vulnerabilities. In particular, in the home controller, there's a SQL injection attack. It's a little bit smaller, so it's easier to see. And it's on line 40, which is where we implemented that search talk function from earlier, as you can see. We have SQL injection, unsanitized input. And that's an example of AI generated code introducing vulnerable code into your project and sneak detecting that for you via sneak code. The third risk of using AI for coding involves intellectual property or IP infringement. AI tools might inadvertently use proprietary data to generate code, 
leading to potential legal issues for you. This risk arises when AI models are trained on data sets containing copyrighted material without the proper permissions. To mitigate this, you can use clean, properly licensed data sets and audit AI-generated code for IP compliance. You can also use mechanisms like watermarking or other digital rights management or DRM techniques to trace AI-generated code. Now, the fourth risk is the absence of policies governing AI-generated code. Without having clear guidelines, AI usage can lead to inconsistent and insecure outcomes. So be sure to establish policies that cover AI tool usage, data handling, code review processes, and compliance with legal standards. Once those policies are established, you need to make sure to enforce those policies to ensure consistent and secure AI practices within your organization. Again, you could use tools like Sneak Code to perform regular analysis of AI-generated code, which will identify and fix security vulnerabilities in your projects. You can have protocols in place to follow when issues do arise in AI-generated content, such as security issues or IP infringement. And lastly, just like you would assign responsibility for reviewing and approving human-generated code, you should do the same for AI. In addition to all that, you should use regular training sessions to keep everyone updated on this changing landscape. And speaking of changes, you'll need to revisit these policies over time so they better apply to the latest advances in AI technology. By addressing these AI coding risks, you can leverage AI's benefits while maintaining security and compliance. For more details on this, you can check out our full blog post. It's linked in the description below. Well, that does it for this video. If you got value out of it, be sure to like it down below and share it with someone who could put it to use. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy safe coding everyone.